Hello, hi, how are ya? How are you going? Welcome to my channel, or if you're new, welcome back. No, that doesn't make sense, does it? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy, and today I am going to be talking about my very first ayahuasca experience. I filmed two other videos on ayahuasca before filming this one, so if you haven't seen those, I'd recommend go checking those out. I talk more about like why I wanted to do it, my intentions, and what to expect in your first ceremony, and how I was feeling before, and all that pre-info that I feel like is necessary before jumping into this video. But if you've come straight to this video, then welcome. I hope you're having a beautiful day, and I'm really excited to share my first ayahuasca experience with you all. There's not much else I wanted to say before we jump into it, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do, subscribe if you're new, uh, ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Before I get into the video, I just wanted to mention one thing really, really quickly. I wanted to talk about my intention for this night. So the place that I went to do ayahuasca have three intentions that they recommend you set. Obviously you can set your own intentions, but they say that if these three are met, then it kind of encompasses all of your specific intentions. I mentioned this in one of my previous ayahuasca videos, but for those of you who haven't seen it, the three intentions are show me who I've become, merge me back with my soul at all costs, and heal my heart. So going into this ceremony, my intention was to show me who I've become, which is the very first intention, and they tend to go in like an order. This is apparently the hardest one, and the one that can take the longest amount of time. So this is the intention that a lot of people struggle with, because um, it can be really confronting. So that was my intention going into this night. I just thought I would mention it before I get into my actual experience. I hope you're all having a beautiful day, and let's get onto the video. The video you have all been waiting for, my ayahuasca experience. I was not sure what to expect, but I did feel much more relaxed in a sense after the rape. I was kind of just like going with the flow and just trusting. And I got to the front of the line and I was like, oh, here we go. And they bless the medicine and then you drink it out of a little shot glass, drink it back. And to be honest, I was not sure what to expect taste-wise because I had watched a lot of videos where people said it was the worst tasting stuff they've ever had in their life and it tasted really like soily and like really earthy but not in a good way. I'm probably one of the few people that didn't find it too bad. It wasn't like a pleasant taste, but it almost tasted like really, really, really strong dark chocolate but had like no sugar. So like really bitter dark chocolate that's like quite like a thick and then we went back to our mattresses and the music started and we just kind of sat there and this is like the the scary part is when you're almost like waiting for something to happen and you're kind of just like lying there or sitting there or however you want to be and you're just like okay there's no going back now like I'm on that roller coaster ride and I'm not gonna be able to get off I decided to like sit up initially and just kind of meditate a little bit and just wait to feel the effects from the first cup I didn't feel anything. I literally felt completely sober and a lot of people said that they felt the same although there were people from one cup who were vomiting and having full-on you know strong reactions quite quickly so yet again it really differs person to person and you're not going to know how you're going to react until you actually are in ceremony and you've drunk the medicine and in my head I was really frustrated. I wanted something to happen and I was just like sitting there like ah oh, this is really this is really annoying and I guess that just shows like I, I'm quite an impatient person and I guess you just want something to happen and you hear of these crazy intense ayahuasca experiences and you think like oh you're going to have your ayahuasca and then you're going to be blasted to another dimension. Yeah so I didn't really feel anything. About an hour and a half later they called for the second cup. They say if you're able to walk and get up off your mattress then go have another cup so I did I drank the second cup came back to my mattress sat and relaxed for a bit I lay down and just kind of waited and that's when like stuff started happening in the room like people after the second cup were they you could tell like they were very deeply immersed in that state like people were laughing people were crying people were vomiting and it sounds really intense and for me like if my friends are getting sick like after a night out if one of them's like throwing up from alcohol I'm that person that I'm like I want to be a good friend and like be there for you but I'm also like la 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 La, 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 because it will make me sick like hearing someone else be sick but in ceremony that wasn't the case like people were like vomiting around me and I didn't really feel sick from it like it was it was fine so if you're worried about that don't stress you'll probably be okay and I was lying there for a while and it didn't really it didn't really feel anything again I was quite confused and I was very much I found I was very much in my head questioning everything why am I not feeling anything I should be feeling something by now and just having a very impatient, ego-driven kind of mindset. And then after some time passed, I did feel, I felt like I was on something, like I could feel that I was under the influence of the medicine, but I didn't feel like 
out of control or like a crazy intense feeling that I thought I would probably feel. I could see very, very, very subtle sacred geometry. Like there were no colors, but things were just a little bit altered. Very subtle though, like almost barely noticeable. And so I was lying there and everyone was like going through their, their experience and I was still like, I was like, I'm pretty sober. I, I don't really understand why I'm not feeling anything. But what I did notice is I started purging. Not in a throwing up sense, I started yawning so much. And yawning is one way of purging. And speaking of yawning, I feel like I need to yawn now. But like the biggest yawns like I've ever yawned in my life. Like I felt like my mouth was like wide open and I kept yawning and yawning and yawning. But I didn't really have any emotion attached to it. Like they say, like if you're purging, like ask like, what is this that's leaving my body? What am I getting out? And I felt like there was no emotion. I, did, I couldn't figure out what was coming out of my body. Like I was yawning, but I didn't really know what I was purging. But all I knew was that I could not stop yawning. <sighs> and then as I was like lying down, I felt like it was really weird. Like usually you can feel when you're about to cry, but I like felt my face and it was wet. Like I felt like all these tears, like I was crying, but I didn't really even notice I was crying until I'd, I'd felt my face. And I asked like, what is this? Like, what is this sadness? Um, what is it related to? And nothing came up. Like n I didn't get an answer. I didn't know why I was crying. And I guess you don't necessarily have to know why. That's what I realized. It's just the fact that it's happening is a release in itself. And I think that's what that was teaching me in that moment is you don't need to question everything. You can just just let it be and like let it let it flow quite literally let it flow and so I was lying there and I was crying but I wasn't feeling sad I was just yawning and crying and just like lying there and when they say like ask mother ayahuasca like what is this that's leaving my body usually like a lot of people will get like a very direct answer and whether that be like an actual voice they hear or it would be like a feeling they'll just know what's leaving their body and for me I didn't have that I felt like I would ask but no one was there no one there was no response and that really frustrated me because I was like am I doing something wrong why is this not working I guess I felt alone I felt like completely ignored I felt like mother ayahuasca was not even wanting to communicate with me and I just was really confused in the ceremonies there are like 10 helpers throughout the room so basically if you're struggling you're having a hard time you can just put your hand up and someone will come straight over to you and help you which I thought was really beautiful and the way that they would dance and move to the music was quite honestly the most beautiful thing I have ever seen in my life they just moved so freely and when someone next to me was throwing up they were there right away fanning her with like um, leaves and feathers and rubbing this lotion all over her body which is very cleansing like they were very they were very much there for you. They were very supportive, which was a beautiful thing to watch because I think sometimes in life it's hard to feel supported and to feel like you can be vulnerable and people will be there for you and give you that unconditional love and care. And that's something that I witnessed throughout the whole week and it was beautiful. Then I decided to go outside and it was really cool because my mattress was like right by the doors where you can go outside. They have a lot of hammocks and a fireplace. And so they say, if you can go outside, go outside and look at the stars because they said it on ayahuasca, it's the most beautiful thing ever. Ever, which it was I'll get into that but they also said if you have anything you want to release or let go of go to the fire and give it to the fire all the elements they say are spirits and they said that if you ha if you want to release or get rid of anything give it to the fire and so I decided to go outside and they say like wherever you go bring your bucket with you because that's your best friend that like, you never know when you if you're gonna be sick so I like went outside and oh my gosh I looked at the stars <sighs> I have never, ever, 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 ever in my life seen a sky so beautiful and I wasn't sure if there were genuinely that many stars or if it was the fact that I was on ayahuasca because the whole sky was covered in stars. I'm talking like there were like hardly any gaps. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of stars and it was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. I looked up at the stars and I literally, I don't even know because time is like a very distorted thing on ayahuasca and on psychedelics in general, like you don't really know how long, like one minute can feel like 10 hours, 10 hours can feel like one minute, like it's confusing. But I was, I feel like I was outside for a really long time. I really loved being outside in ceremony. I liked being connected to nature. The trees looked as if they were like growing into the sky. I don't even know how to explain that, but it was, it was amazing. It was like the root and then the branches were all like connected to the sky. So I had, I guess, a, vi a slightly visual night on Monday night, but it was very, very subtle. I wasn't seeing bright colors and aliens and stuff like that or in any other dimension. I was very much there and present, but things were just slightly, slightly different to how they usually are with my normal eyes. I remember there was this one star in the sky and it kept like swap swapping places with other stars. Like it was like moving. I don't, I don't even know how to explain it, but it was literally 
it was like dancing in the sky and the stars were like twinkling and like moving a little bit more than like I feel like they usually do and this star just kept swapping places and I was like following it with my eyes and it was it was really cool I don't I don't really know what to make of that experience besides the fact that it was beautiful I felt very connected to nature very connected to the universe and it was it was pretty magical and then I went back inside and lay on my bed and this at this point like my body felt really heavy I could move it but it was almost like it just felt slightly like it felt different to how it usually does like I, I feel like I, it's very hard to put this stuff into words, but it just felt like slightly heavy and like as if there was like something like running through it Which was probably the ayahuasca. Let's be honest um, And I was like lying on my mattress and then I opened my eyes and there were all these the helpers were all dancing like the most beautiful Dancing I've ever seen in my life in their white clothing and like oh they were like actual angels and I wanted to get up and dance like I felt this burning desire in my body to get up and dance with them but then my anxious mind kicked in and my inhibitions and at this moment I was like I wanted to dance but it was as if my I was too self-conscious to dance because everyone was lying down and the de the helpers were like dancing but like it was like my mind would not let me my body wanted to but my mind was like no like don't do that you people will judge you or you know like it was that typical like in my head kind of mentality which frustrated me because I felt like it stopped me from really being in the moment then um, and I guess what I took from this was that that happens a lot in my everyday life is that my mind gets in the way of me being able to feel free and maybe do the things that I really want to do or that I feel called to do and in this moment it definitely like my mind stopped me from doing that However, I did get to a point where I danced in my mattress. Um, <laughs> sounds a bit crazy, but instead of getting up, I literally sat up in my mattress. I was too self-conscious to get up and dance, but I was not self-conscious enough to like not dance at all. So I sat up in my mattress and I just remember like dancing like a crazy hippie snake. Like I was just feeling the music and when you're on ayahuasca and you listen to music, it's like the music is touching every cell in your body like I could feel the music running through my body and I was dancing and having a really really good time and for that moment I was able to just let go and just be in the moment and not be caught up in that anxious mindset which was really blissful really peaceful and a nice change because I feel like a lot of the time I do tend to live in that in that mindset and it's really it's not helpful it doesn't serve me and it's really frustrating and the next day the helpers were like we were watching you dance you looked like you were having a good time I was like yeah I was I was feeling the music it was great another thing I will note from this night is I felt really bad because I was having a good time and some of the people around me were really struggling they were having a hard time they were purging a lot like vomiting a lot and crying and I felt I almost felt guilty that I was having a good time and a peaceful experience and they were struggling the next day I was like processing this and I thought like maybe that's showing me that I'm an empath which I feel like I naturally am like I do like to help people but I also think the lesson in that was like you deserve to have a good time you deserve to feel peaceful and and, and have a, a nice time it doesn't always have to be so hard it doesn't have to be such a crazy intense experience like maybe what I needed that night was just a really peaceful blissful experience because I started questioning I was like why why did I not have like any emotions come up you know like why why didn't I have any stuff come up and in my head I was like maybe what you needed was to just feel peace and just feel at ease and I think with my mental health uh, a lot of the time it stops me from being able to feel at peace like my mind's always racing a million miles per hour and I think in that moment mother ayahuasca was teaching me and showing me what it feels like to just be at peace and relax and just be enjoying that moment and it was really beautiful and then the ceremony kind of wrapped up at like 1 30 in the morning um, the lights came on and they closed the ceremony we all went back to the front and carried like our little blankets and everything and the shaman closed the ceremony with a closing talk and people had the opportunity to share their experiences which was really cool to like listen to other people's experiences but it was also really hard not to compare your experience to theirs and they say like try your very best not to to make any comparisons because all of you are going to have a very different experience but for me when i didn't really feel like much came up um and people were saying i got my miracle in the first hour of this ceremony and then someone else would say like my best friend who'd passed on came to me and i saw them and we had a conversation and it was beautiful and i was kind of like why why didn't i get that and i was i was feeling left out and frustrated and so 
that's that was my first night. I went back to my room, I fell asleep, and then it was Tuesday. And that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed hearing about my very first ayahuasca experience. There were three more ceremonies after this, so I will be getting into those in future videos. Ceremony two will probably be uploaded in about two days. I am gonna space them out every other day. So come back to my channel then, and you guys can hear about my next ceremony, because where I went, you do ceremony Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, so it's quite back to back. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Have you been called to ayahuasca? Have you done ayahuasca? Is it something you're wanting to do? Is it something you're very scared to do? What are your thoughts? Let me know down below. Or if you have any questions about my personal experience or ayahuasca in general, leave them down below. I'm definitely not an expert, but I feel like I learned so much. So if you have any questions about that, leave them down below and I'll be sure to answer them. On that note, I'm gonna go. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and all that good stuff. And ring the bell if you don't wanna miss my next video talking about my second ceremony. And lastly, if you wanna keep up to date with my regular, normal, everyday life, you can do so on my Instagram, which is at amygrace with three E's. I'll have it somewhere here. I post a lot more on there and I posted a bunch of pictures from my holiday and from where I went to do my ceremonies. So if you guys wanna see more of that, that's where you can find it. And on that note, I'm going to go, but I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in this big wide world. I hope you're staying positive and calm through this crazy time we're all going through and being kind to each other and being kind to yourselves. And I will see you guys very soon in part four of my ayahuasca series where I'll be talking about my second ceremony. Catch you later.